I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. I am so thankful you took the time and wanted to quilt with me. We are working on our Alaska Quilt Alone, our Rainbow Alaska. It is just beautiful and every one of you have been doing so well on your blocks and growing as quilters. I am so proud of you. Keep going, don't give up. The more practice, the better you get in the blocks. All the little tips and everything that we have learn you're applying to your blocks and we are almost to the end of our journey today we're going to talk about block number seven and block number ten i know they look very much alike but notice the position of your yellow and a pink in this block how it is mirror image yellow right here and a pink so what i recommended even that the blocks look alike, let's just do one block at a time. First, we're gonna start with block number seven, and then we're gonna move on to block number 10. Are you in? Let's start it. If you're working from Alaska Rainbow Regular Kit, make sure you visit our first video for cutting, and then please cut your pieces using beautiful acrylic templates that you have it. So the templates are good for cutting, but also for marking our pieces as we're sewing. If you are like me, you may be using the pre-cut pieces from our Alaska Rainbow. So that's what I'm gonna be working with. It. Those are just just wonderful. In my sewing basket, I also have this beautiful color splash bundle for the scrappy version of the quilt. And I'm using a beautiful pieces from Olive Branch collection for the, uh, some of the pieces to give a little bit more color into it. We also have on our website available a little rainbow, what it's a little bundle. If you want to extend your quilt or you want to change some colors or you want to add a little applique around the border, maybe this little bundle is perfect for you. So you can consider that. Or if you like me and you want the full rainbow, we do have just few left of the Century Solids full 100 pieces collection. Those are Fat Aids. Oh my gosh, girls and guys, this is stunning. Wonderful, wonderful group of fabrics. So we do have few of those, but now let's get into our blocks. This block is made with beautiful triangle D and notice in green, and then we have it in yellow, pink, and a light on each corner. Then we have a wedge C in dark green, medium green, and a light green right there. We also have diamond A right here in green. I love this pickle color. And we have a half diamond in little darker grays right here. This is the darker gray oyster. And we have the cream. Those are the light ones right here. So pay attention to that. Many times I have to take the pieces and lay them right next to it to see this one is white, this one is little gray. So that's one thing that I had to pay attention. I have to tell you, there was some times that I was not happy about it when my triangle switched, but that's happened. You pay attention, lay your pieces, and now we're gonna proceed by starting with diamond A, placing half diamond B, right sides together, just like this. Oh, wonderful. Right sides together, and we're gonna sew it. And I like to usually start sewing from this side straight out. Sew it, flip it open, and we're gonna open the seam in the back. Then we're gonna sew the second half diamond B, sew it, and flip it open. You wanna see how I did it? Look at this, isn't just wonderful? Open the seams, and remember right here, you can trim that little uh, edge so that way that green doesn't peek right through it. You're going to do this to all the diamonds and all the half diamonds just right here. And I have finished mine for you. Look at this. Just finish them up. Oh, they look wonderful. Then the second step, we're going to grab the um, triangle D and wedge C place the pieces right sides together, again, match it up, pin it, pin it, and where you pin it, where you mark it. You can take your template, mark, mark, and yes, I'm going to use my wonderful, let me see, it's still in my little basket, my wonderful sew line pencil to mark those little areas right there. 
I'm going to mark it and then finish by sewing from here to here. And I will repeat this on each corner of my block. As soon as I finish sewing, I'm going to go ahead and press it open. And this is going to be my corners of my block. What a wonderful unit. And now we're going to apply one of the lessons that we have learned that we can use our templates for trimming. So right there, when I finish my units, I'm going to place my template right over. And with my rotary, I can go ahead and gently trim it. Gently trim it if needed. Look at this. It is beautiful. As soon as you finish this up, you're going to sew. Place this unit right sides together with the corner unit just like this and you're gonna sew it and again you can use your template to mark and mark and sew it as soon as you finish open it up open the seam so this to this this to this and this to this for four corners of your block i know you are excited and want to see how i did i did this really well i was so happy with the results i'm getting better and better in those low quarter of a unit as soon as i finish guess what remember our second lesson and not i said i went and opened up the seam open it up really nice i'm gonna go ahead place my ruler right over position my a 45 degree line through that middle seam just like this beautiful and then with a uh, rotary go ahead trim it and trim it because you want this to be perfect 90 degrees because if you do that you're gonna get a great center of your block because the next step that we're going to do oh i have to do a little cleaning right here the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna place those right sides together the most important is to make sure that this seam right here matches this seam we're gonna pin it just like this pin it yes and we're gonna go ahead start by sewing straight down right here straight down right here sew it and we're gonna have half of our block and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side right side together sew it half of the block two halves now we are ready to sew and make a full block when we sew the two halves together make sure that you remember to pin it right there you're gonna match things up and you're gonna pin it right there and you're gonna start sewing from the center straight out from the center straight out and then you go ahead open the seam in the back and you have a, a beautiful 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 block isn't this exciting so you just finished block number seven block number seven and you are ready set go to repeat all of the step for block number eight uh, block number 10 i'm so sorry block number 10 look at this this is the scrappy version of that block hold on let me double check perfect i have my low pink and my low yellow and look at what i did in my scrappy block i did the two greens on each side and I sw swap some of the diamonds. I did some in the lighter green and I did one in a little bit darker green and then use a scrappy fun fabric and fussy cut it so my little branch went through the middle. I am so looking forward to show you the results, but guess what? That's not yet today. One more week and we're gonna be looking how to put blocks our our blocks together. We're gonna get to see the reveal of our scrappy version of the quilt and of course, just before we do that, we have to talk about our last block, block number 13, how we make that block. But today, the next block that we're going to do is block number 10, block number 10. So again, I'm going to pull up all of the pieces. Let me pull them out for you and lay my block out. I have my diamonds. I have my half diamonds. Again, I'm paying attention that my light is the right light that I needed I have my half um, diamonds in that light right there oh this is wonderful and I have a beautiful corners 
and just the one thing that I really have to pay attention to it is how I lay my block and position my yellow and my pink because we want to make sure that this is right here and this yellow is on the opposite side. Do you see this? Opposite side so that way you block burst into the quilt just the right way with color okay we just got all of the pieces let's now start what we're going to do repeat all the steps that we did for block number seven we're gonna start by sewing the half diamonds a b to a diamond a right sides together sew it flip it open open the seams sew it flip it open repeat it four times because we have four um, diamonds that we're gonna set in into half diamonds yes i have done that for you i have done it for you i hope you enjoying this and having a wonderful time with our quilt alone and you're also getting ready for our next quilt alone. What is the Winter Village? The Winter Village. That's going to be our next quilt alone. I am so excited for that one. This quilt is just beautiful. And the, in the Winter Village kit, we have plenty of fabrics that you can go ahead and extend the quilt if you want to make an extra block. So if you wanted to, those kits are just beautiful. They're on our website. So now notice that I just finished those units. I'm going to go ahead, place my ruler, uh, place my template, trim it, then go ahead, right sides together, triangle D and wedge C, sew it, flip it open, the same this corner, sew it, flip it open. You're going to repeat this four times because you have four corners and as soon as you're done you're gonna go ahead beautifully press it lay out your block and i have to tell you the one tip one more tip and one lesson that i have learned through that process no matter how experienced quilter you are it is very important that when you finish a step you trim you squirt things out and you lay your block out again. It is very easy to mix up some pieces and get lost. So look at this, I lay it out. I make sure that my darker uh, half diamond uh, B uh, on this side. Now I'm gonna sew this to this, this to this, this to this to create four corners just by placing right sides together so it was a quarter inch seam allowance open it up open the seam stunning i am so looking forward to it so now let's go ahead and look at those up i have them prepared for you oh this is going to be beautiful that is amazing wonderful so i have four corners of course where is my nice little ruler i think i put it right here oh yes it's hiding so remember with that lovely ruler we're gonna go ahead place it right sides together and with a rotary trim trim create a perfect 90 degree for each corner unit and then we're gonna go ahead put them right sides together Pin it in the middle, sew it, flip it open, open the seam in the back, do the same thing right here, place it right sides together, pin it, sew it, flip it open. Now we have two halves of our block 10, then we're going to put those two halves together and we are ready for assembling this part right here and have a beautiful beautiful block isn't that nice let's flip it in the back and see yes my seam is open my seams are matching everything looks wonderful i beautifully press it i do shy away from pressing the center i just press it really nice and smooth i don't want to run my iron because i don't want to shine up the edges and as soon as i finish i have to repeat it three more times because remember we need four blocks seven and we need four block ten so those are the last blocks that we need four of each of them our block 13 next week we only need one 
only one. So we're gonna make this block and then we laid up the whole quilt and learn how to put the blocks together and we're done with our quilt. Super excited. And now, of course, you are looking forward to see this block, so notice it. I have it right next to it, how the pinks and yellows are the same. So I have my blocks ready, set, go, and that's the scrappy one. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to put those both next to each other. Do you see what I was talking about? That it's a mirror image. So look at it, how it's on opposite sides. So don't plan to make both of those it's very uh, at the same time because it's very easy to get confused and where the pieces go. So just block number seven, block number 10, one day at a time, one block at a time, beautifully finished, and you're gonna be ready, set, go for a wonderful, wonderful quilt. And I am so thankful you took the time and wanted to quilt with me. We are almost to the end of that journey, I promise you. What a wonderful, wonderful result. A little rainbow before the end of the year. How wonderful. I am so thankful you took the time. Please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also finish, visit our blog and our website for any of your quilting needs. We have a lot of beautiful things and I hope to see you next week for more quilting with me. Happy quilting!